This year, Ned pays tribute to the people of Sudan and the historic 2019 revolution when it honors three leading civil society organizations that have worked tirelessly to promote democracy, women's rights, and the rule of law in Sudan with the 2020 Democracy Award. We know who was the force behind the revolution. It was women and it was youth. They inspired, they challenged, they demanded many of the positive changes that we're seeing today. And so we recognize their energy, their dedication, and the enormous courage of the women and youth who brought peaceful protests that led to Omar Bashir's ouster. And so we believe it's only fitting that women and youth should play a significant role in the institutions that are going to shape Sudan's future. The fact that these three Sudanese organizations represent so civil society, women and areas that were marginalized by the previous regime is indicative of the political awareness and maturity of the Sudanese people and their ability to peacefully organize to demand their democratic rights. This is an inspiration to the people everywhere. I take the opportunity to congratulate the three awardees on their contribution to promoting democracy throughout the world, often at great risk to themselves and to their communities, and in difficult circumstances. Each and every one of you is a leader for all, and your sacrifices have been recognized by the world. I salute you. I've been asked to highlight the work of the Regional Center for Training and Development of Civil Society. They've been at the forefront of the fight for democratic processes in Sudan for 12 years now. Their work, providing youth with the education necessary to engage in the political process as informed citizens, that work lays the groundwork for a bright future for the Sudanese people. We know that this transition to democracy isn't an easily won battle. Hearts and minds must still be persuaded, but that's why this work and these awards matter. For myself and for many folks around the world, and on behalf of the National Endowment for Democracy, congratulations. Thank you for all of what you do, and please keep up the work. You've got a lot of us cheering for you. It is my privilege and my pleasure to receive this Democracy Award on behalf of the people of Sudan, as it means a lot to me to my colleagues at RCDCS, to the multitude of Sudanese civil society activists and citizens group, and citizens group. It, it is a recognition and acknowledgement of the important role of the civil society organization as champions of change. It also shed light on the fact that civil society organizations are the key instruments through which the needs, desires, and its inspiration of the Sudanese people are understood, acknowledge that civil society is the best partner for support of a peaceful, constructive environment for change in Sudan. Since 2002, the Nueda has devoted its work to promoting the active political participation of women and girls, helping them to gain access to education, healthcare, and job skills. Women were at the forefront of the December Revolution, which brought forward Sudan's democratic transition, bringing attention to the importance of women's rights and human rights in advancing democracy. I want you to know that Congress was excited and inspired by the protest movement in Sudan, but even more so by the fact that there were so many women leading the way toward a more democratic Sudan. It is my honor to present the 2020 Democracy Award to Nueda. Congratulations on this great achievement. I'm so proud and I'm happy that I'm, I'm representing a Sudanese, one of the Sudanese civil society, and representing uh, what uh, the women, my sisters, my fellow women and youth did during the revolution. And this award actually is for them, is to say, um, this is, you have done it, you have uh, you've struggled a lot and, and a lot of chaos happened to your families and to yourself and many of our friends passed away uh, and this time we will say that we are going to continue we are happy for what you did for, for the country and um, we are going to continue uh, to see the democracy and to see this country developed and into full democracy and enjoy the fruits of, uh, of, of, uh, of what happened uh, since 2018. 20,
For over 15 years, lawyers from the DBA have been at the forefront of defending fundamental freedoms, human rights, and the rule of law. During this time, the DBA has represented thousands of innocent victims of the genocidal regime of Omar al-Bashir, including activists, political prisoners, and students from the country's most affected conflict areas. The DBA carried out this critical work despite grave risks and constant threats to their safety, and often endured arrest, harassment, and abuse. During the course of Sudan's democratic revolution, they provided pro bono legal assistance to ensure the release of hundreds of demonstrators arbitrarily arrested and abused by the Bashir regime. You are truly role models for human rights and the voice of every individual and the voice of democracy. Congratulations. It is great and honor uh, to me personally and also to the colleague in, uh, within the Bani uh, Darfur Bar Association who received this year uh, NEED 2020 Democratic Award. On behalf of the Sudanese people, I must say that the NEED's long time offer and support um, to the civil society and uh, also the uh, Sudan plays a really amazing role in, in, in providing the, the, the need to to the protester to defeat to defeat the regime. This award is a true testimony of uh, what really, really, and how how badly we need this democracy to reflect on us as a Sudanese, and particularly also within Sudan, uh, to enjoy our life as a human being on, on on this planet. All of us at NED attach enormous importance to this recognition of our awardee's contribution to Sudan's democratic transition. At a time of global democratic recession, when even once stable democracies in Africa and across the world are endangered, Sudan's transition offers a ray of hope, showing that 30 years of brutal dictatorship did not crush the spirit of the Sudanese people, but only strengthened their commitment to core democratic values.